Hey guys, oh, it's actually my third attempt to do this stupid video today. I really wanted to put up a video because I got a lot of work done, and the forces of cameraness are against me. First, my memory card filled up about halfway through doing the video. Then I tried it again. My battery died. I got a bigger video card, or yeah, memory card, and the video, the battery died doing it. This is not working in my favorite today, so hopefully I can get it on this take. And if you're seeing it, that means I did. Yeah, great logic there. Um, got a lot more work done on my part four. Still haven't been able to buy a Mezco one, but I'm happy with this guy. I still want a Mezco one just for completion's sake. Just sculpted his head a few minutes ago. My camera won't focus on it, of course, but I think it's a pretty cool head. I think it looks pretty creepy pretty accurate to the movie. It's going to look great once it's all painted. He is missing the teeth, but I'm making those separately. And I'm going to glue them into his head. Then I don't want to mess up the rest of the sculpt while trying to make teeth in there. But, uh, the rest of his body, and then last time all I had done was the pants. So you can see the pants are done. He's got his shirt. The bottom of the shirt, the new thing I'm trying out is liquid electrical tape, and I don't know if you could see that, but it's actually like rubbery and flexible yeah it's pretty cool stuff there um... this collar and like the center down the middle of his shirt is made of the same material just so that it has uh... kind of a springiness to it the rest of his clothes are made out of mighty putty his face is done with epoxy sculpt see there is the machete I made for him it's a metal blade with a wooden handle with a little bit of uh, epoxy sculpt joining the two together. Similar to what I did with the, uh, here's Victor Crowley's hatchet, wooden handle, but that is an epoxy sculpt blade since I can't bend the metal the way I need it to for that. And it's pretty much done with this guy, or not pretty much done, but he needs a couple more layers of paint. This is just the base coat of paint, the basic color. And do some highlights, low lights. I actually think I'm not going to do blood splatter on him. I'm going to go back and watch the movie again. But I always want to put blood splatter on things, and it doesn't need to be on there. So I think this guy actually does not need blood splatter. If you look on his hand here, once I get my camera, I won't pick it up. But he has the, the gnarly, nasty fingernails. I paint those all black and brown and nasty. Um, he only has it on the thumb on this hand because his fingers are kind of pointing into the palm of his hand, you'd never see it even if I put them on there. Yes, I'm going to hit the camera with the machete. That's also a good idea. Um, for Victor Crowley, eh, I'm going to drop him. His butt still has wet epoxy sculpt on it. Um, yeah, I kind of put an ass crack in his jeans. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, got the overalls going. You can see the tear there. I never saw that in the movie. I, like... I watched it like three or four times in a row, or not in a row, but within a short amount of time, and I never noticed it was torn until I saw one's customs figure, and I saw there was a tear there, and I had to watch it again, and it turns out that is there. I would never noticed that. It all surprised me, the little details are so easy to miss. Um, the front there, he still has some detail work needs to be done to the front of his overalls. And obviously the straps aren't finished. I'm contemplating trying to do metal clasps to hook them onto the you know the rest of the clothes. You know, don't want to actually clasp it on there, but just you know for the visual of it. But I'm not sure if I want to do that. I can't really bend the metal too easily that I have, so I might just sculpt them again. But he should be coming soon. I know I've been working on him for a while, but I just keep. I want Jason figures, and I keep making Jason figures. I even got this guy back here is going to be a, uh, probably a Part 8. Yeah, so I'll have Part 8 and Roy, which are the ones that were never released. And then my Part 4, since I can't buy one. Then I will have two threes down there, four, five... Six, seven, eight. No, actually, I will be making eight. I'm sorry. Need to make eight. Part nine. Jason X, which 
I don't really feel like paying for the McFarlane one, so I'll probably finish the custom I started on that. And then, Freddy vs. Jason Remake. So I will have a complete collection within not too long of an amount of time, hopefully. But I really do need to get to work on Victor Crowley. He's been suffering from my uh, wanting to make Jasons lately. But he will be finished sometime soon. I need to do his pants and his face and paint them all up and all that stuff. And he'll be ready. I mean, saying that, I still need to finish Sam. He's been sitting on the back burner for a while, mostly because I tried to do his face and I kind of got pissed off at it. And uh, figured I need a little bit of a break. So he's got to go back into the production stages soon, too. And that's the liquid electrical tape right there. Um, I like using it, but you have to make a couple layers of it. I've been making it on, like, a DVD cover type thing. You know, brushing it on there, then peeling it off and applying it to the figure. You can't really mold it all that well. And it stinks. It says use in a well-ventilated area. And I've used products that say that before. Normally that means, you know, you can sit in a room as long as it's not tiny with the air conditioning on. You're totally fine. I needed to open the windows with this thing. So, just a warning to anybody who tries that right? I got a couple other products I want to try for doing bendy, flexible stuff. Um, but that one's worked okay so far. And, uh, the one last thing I have is for any customizers out there, um, I went to Dollar General today, you know, the dollar store that sells things for a dollar, but uh, and more than a dollar, actually, and I picked up some more Mighty Putty. I know I use Mighty Putty for, uh, I always like to have projects that I can work on quickly, like this guy here. And my Roy, I do with the bodies of Mighty Putty, so I can just keep working. So I don't like about epoxy sculpt. It takes like about three hours to dry. And, uh, you know, I want to work. I don't want to sit around and wait for sculpting to dry. So I always try to have like a Mighty Putty figure in the works. But uh, normally I buy this stuff at Target. It's the only place locally that I can really find it. And it's about $10 for a uh, three-pack. And I went in there, and they had it listed for seven fifty. I was like, man, that's a great deal. I'll go pick it up. Rang up is $3. So if you use this stuff for customizing, or for its intended purpose, but who the hell uses it for its intended purpose? Come on. Um, Sorry, Billy Mays. I don't mean to offend you. Um, Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, pick this up. Try going there. I don't know if it was an error at the store I went to or what. But three dollars for that's a dollar a tube. I mean, the stuff's normally ten dollars, so it's more than three dollars a tube normally. So I picked up two things of this. They had a lot more. I might go pick up more later. I don't want to miss out on getting a bunch of this stuff for dirt cheap. So, if you need my buddy, you might want to try Dollar General. And on that note, um, I'll probably probably won't wait till next Monday. She yeah, probably won't. I don't have off time the rest of this week, honestly. I want to finish painting this guy and show him off and make his hockey mask and all that fun stuff. But I kind of got a busy weekend coming up, so I might not have a chance. But soon enough, you will get to see the completed version of him. So stay tuned. All right. Bye.